Hi guys, it's Jamie here. For International Ocean Day, because we did Mother Ocean Day not that long ago, I've decided not to add to my art journal with this one, but I am going to do an altered playing card so I can take part. What I'm going to do is go through this free magazine and grab some of the blue color so that we can make some blues across the base of this card. So it doesn't matter that it's sky because I just want some pieces of blue. In fact, that's got a bit of rippling in it is quite good. There is a dark blue on here, but I don't know if I can get anything that much from the dark blue. I might be able to get a small piece. There's some beautiful colors, look at those. I'm going to take some Mod Podge and cover the card with some of these blues. Now obviously with Ocean you're going to go lighter to darker. I do want some of the fact that it is a plain card to show through. A darker one at the bottom. I don't know that really goes with that one but we're just working some colours in at the moment. This will actually build up some layers as well as create some colour changes. Now I want to dry that off. So that's now dry and I've trimmed it back up to the original card size. The next thing I'm going to do is take some of this tissue which is a blue all over and throw it over the top of here. So it's a bit of a napkin that I've taken the ply down and again this will create more texture to the background and also help unify some of those colours and take off the fact that we've used magazine colour rather than paint. Before I tear it much more I need to dry that. I've just torn roughly around the edges because I quite like that look and I'm going to use some more of this so that where there are white gaps we add tiny bits of this napkin We'll be layering it up and cover some white gaps up here. It's hard to tell when you've got the Mod Podge down, so it might be that you want to dry in between these layers so you can see where your white gaps are. Let's put a tiny bit over here. I'm going to dry it off and see if I've managed to get all those white bits up. I found this bit of netting that doesn't look too green when pushed against that background. So rather than try and change the colour of the netting, I'm going to see if I can get it to stick over that background using a silicon glue. And then we're going to shove some netting over the top of that. Now, because I want to do some treatments on top of this, and this is quite plasticky, in feel this netting. I'm going to take some of the clear gesso, which is a matte finish anyway, and push that over the surface. That should dry up clear and take some of that shine off as well. While that's drying, I want to experiment with making a jellyfish from this. Normally it has a piece underneath as well. I'm trying to think how a jellyfish normally goes. It goes up slightly. And then you normally see the underneath bit a little bit and then you'd have some tendrils. I want to be able to add a little bit of paint or ink onto this but maintain its sort of transparency. So I'm going to cover that with that clear gesso as well. I was gonna paint the jellyfish with a bit of colour, but I'm not sure how much I would want to do that because I'm actually quite liking the fact that I could do the tendrils, cut this up, do the tendrils and keep it all white and quite see-through. The only thing I might want to do is pop some kind of bubbles on there the way I'm going to do the bubbles is to take the bubble wrap and some white gesso, just get a little bit on and run it over the top and see if that actually shows up. 
I think with that netting being on there, it doesn't really show. Only other thing I could try would be a paint pen, but I think that might be too strong. Unless I take it up a bit. Oh, that might work. If this was to go down that way, probably can't see those bubbles anyway, so that was probably a waste of time. What I might do is use the paint pen on this, see if that will hold. So you can see it a little bit better, but it's still see-through. Then get some of this silicon little tendrils going as well and to do that I'm going to cut several strips not going to be easy to do this but I want to lift that up run some glue along that bit grab the tendril type things we want to get the actual jellyfish on there main body of it. All I want to do is frame that card. I want to take a darkish blue marker and see if we can get a little bit of framing going around the card. Okay, loving it so far. To protect it by using some hairspray over it. As it's all dry, what I've started to do is, with a white gel pen, draw around the shape to create the jellyfish. Also bring some lines down through this, which again is, to me, how a jellyfish looks. And I may well protect that with some more hairspray in a minute. If you're watching this on YouTube and have enjoyed this video, please do all the youtube -y things, which is like, share, subscribe, comment. If you're in our free Facebook group, thank you for watching, and I do hope you take part in our weekly International Day challenges.